Who Hatches the Egg? All About Eggs by Tish Rabe, illustrated by Astrodides Ruiz and John, Joe Matthew. I'm the cat in the hat. We must leave right away. Can you guess what I'm cooking for breakfast today? Eggs! They're delicious, boiled, scrambled, or fried. Come on, jump in, and let's go for a ride. Most eggs that we eat come from chickens, it's true, but eggs come in many different animals, too. Laying eggs is what birds, insects, and spiders do. Most amphibians, fish, and reptiles do, too. When you look at eggs, you'll find lots of surprises. They have different shapes, different colors, and sizes. This bird's egg is cone-shaped. She laid it on this ledge. Cone-shaped eggs cannot roll. They won't fall off the edge. This is a muir egg. On this egg are spirals that help it grip onto rocks or sand so the egg will not slip. Lacewing eggs lay eggs on stalks to keep hanging from plants. This helps keep them safe from hungry ants. This is a horn shark egg. These are lacewing eggs. What shape are insect eggs? Here we can see that their eggs may be oval, round, long, thin, or flat. A ladybug has an oval egg. A butterfly lays a round egg. A moth has a disc-like egg. A mosquito has a long and thin egg. Eggs are all kinds of colors, red, white, green, or blue. Some have different patterns, like these eggs here do. Some mothers build nests and lay their eggs inside them. Nests are one way that nature can hide them. A crocodile digs a hole for her nest in the ground, then covers it with dirt, leaves, and grass in a mound. Not all nests are made the same size and shape. This nest is a shallow hole that's called a scrape. Some birds dig a scrape and line it with vegetation, which helps keep warm its natural insulation. A sea turtle crawls out, out of the sea onto the land, and then digs a hole for her nest in the sand. Will she have boys or girls? That depends on which part of the nest they are laid in. Here, look at this chart. Deep in the cool sand, boys will likely be born. Girls hatch up where the sand is warm. Not all birds build nests. This owl you can see may lay her eggs in a hollow tree. This cuckoo found a bird nest and laid her egg there. Then off she flew and left it in the other bird's care. Some mothers watch over their eggs they lay, but some lay their eggs and leave right away. A Nile crocodile guards her nest day and night. If a predator comes, it's in for a fight. This butterfly lays eggs then leaves them behind. They are green and blend in and they are hard to find. Some animal dads are never about. But some stay around and they're, they are there to help out. This midwife toad, till they hatch, this male toad will carry his eggs in long strings of jelly that circle his legs. To keep his eggs safe, a dad jawfish will hide the eggs in his mouth, which he keeps open wide. You can see for this dad, it's no easy feat. For five to seven days, he can't drink and he can't eat. A seahorse is a fish, and what seahorse dads do is give birth to their babies. It's amazing, but true. This fish looks like a horse with a long, curled-up tail. The female lays her eggs in a pouch on the male. The male holds the eggs in his pouch till the day he gives birth to his babies, which will float away. 
Most mammals don't lay eggs, but monotremes do. A platypus lays eggs, and echidna does too. An echidna lays an egg that's oval in shape. It's small and about the size of a grape. When it hatches, a baby called a puggle breaks out by using an egg tooth on the end of its snout. A platypus builds two burrows, a plain one for resting and one lined with leaves for nesting. She lays up to three eggs. And as I have seen, each egg is the size of this pink jelly bean. After three or four months, her babies can swim. They get to the water and they glide right in. How do ch little chicks grow? I'll show you the ways a little chick grows over 21 days. The egg yolk provides food while the chick grows in there. And while it is growing, it needs to get air. There are holes in the shell and through these pores, the air flows in and out, out and in as the little chick grows. This is the way she looks on day three. She's small and tiny and looks like a small letter C. Here's the chick on day seven. After only a week, look closely, you'll see she's growing a beak. By day 12, she can wiggle and bumps will begin to pop out all over this little chick's skin. These will turn into feathers. It's day 21. The chick is ready to hatch. All her growing is done. An egg tooth on her beak helps the chick begin chipping. This process of breaking the shell is called pipping. Cracking open the shell is no, not easy and it takes all the little chick's strength till the shell finally breaks. Now she's out into the air. Her feathers will soon dry quick and she'll turn into a cute fluffy chick. In five or six months, she'll be fully grown and able to start laying eggs of her own. The end.